Good morning, my students. How are you today? We are Mass Family in a Gale School. I am Mr. Abinu with you. We will represent you our Mass course for primary three, second term. Okay? We will start now primary three, second term. We will start at first by distributive property of multiplication. Distributive property of multiplication. Okay? Okay, focus with me. At first, we will learn how to multiply three numbers like three, five, and two. To multiply three numbers, we will start by any number. In here, we will start by three at first. Multiply five, multiply two. Okay, we start by three and write five, multiply two between two brackets. Okay. In here, we will start by 5. Multiply, open two brackets, and write 3 multiply 2. In here, we will start by 2. We write 2 at first. Multiply, open two brackets, and write 3 multiply 5. Okay? We want to multiply three numbers by three ways. Okay, at first, to solve with me at first. 3 multiply 5 by 2. We must start by two numbers between two brackets. Like 2 by 5. 2 multiply 5 equal what? Who can say? Excellent. 2 multiply 5 equal 10. So 3 multiply 10 equal? Excellent. 30. So when we start by 3, and put 5 and 2 between two brackets, the result equal 30. Okay, now, the second one, we start by 5. Out, multiply 3 by 2 between two brackets. At first, we must multiply two numbers between two brackets. 3 multiply 2 equal what? Who can say? Excellent, equal 6. So, 5 multiply 6. Excellent, equal 30. So, when we start by 5, the result equal 30. Okay, the third one, we start by 2 and put 3 and 5 between two brackets. We must multiply at first. 3 multiply 5. 3 multiply 5 equal what? Excellent, equal 15. So, 2 multiply 15, meaning 15 plus 15. 15 plus 15 equal what? Excellent. Equal 30. So, the first one, when we start by 3, the result is 30. And the second one, when we start by 5, the result is 30. And the third one, when we start by 2, the result is 30. So, we can write in here, 3 multiply 5 by 2 equal 5 multiply 3 by 2 equal 2 multiply 3 by 5. We can start by any number when we multiply 3 numbers. Is this easy? I hope you understand. Okay, in here, circle the equation that have the same value. Circle the equation that have the same value. At first, we will solve and choose 3 multiply 2. We must multiply two numbers between two brackets. 3 multiply 2 equal what? Who can say? Excellent. Equal 6. 5 multiply 6 equal what? Excellent. Equal 30. Okay, we will choose what? The first one, 3 multiply 2 by 5, or the second one, 4 multiply 10, or the third one, 3 multiply 10. Okay, let's see. The first one solve with me. We start by, excellent, 2 by 5. 2 by 5 equal what? Equal 10. So, 3 multiply 10 equal what? Excellent, equal 30. In here 30, and in here 30. So, we will choose the first one. Excellent. The first one only? Okay, to make sure. In here 4 by 10, no, 4 by 10 equal 40. Okay, the third one, 
3 multiply 10. 3 multiply 10 equal what? Excellent, equal 30. So we will choose the third one. So in here we will choose the first one and the third one give me the same value. This easy. Okay, in here complete as it. I solve it. 3 multiply 4 by 2. We want to multiply three number. Okay, we say that we can start by any two numbers. In here start by 3 by 4. 3 multiply 4 equal extra 12. And put down 2. 12 multiply 2 equal what? Excellent, equal 24. Okay, the second one, we want to multiply 5 by 2 by 4. At first, we will put down 5. We will, we will write 5 again. And we will multiply 2 by 4. Who can say 2 multiply 4 equal what? Excellent. 2 multiply 4 equal 8. So now, 5 multiply 8 in time table 5. Excellent. 5 multiply 8 equal 40. So when we multiply 5 by 2 by 4, the result is 40. And we can start by any two numbers, as you like. We start by 2 by 4, but the first one we start by 3 by 4. In here, use distributive property of multiplication to find the product. At first, we want to find the area of this array. To find the area, we multiply how many rows by how many columns. Count with me how many rows. We know row go from left to right. Count with me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in here, how many rows? Excellent. Seven. How many columns? Count with me. Column go from up to down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. So in here equal eight columns. So area equal seven multiply eight. 7 multiply 8 equal what? Who can say? Excellent. 7 multiply 8 equal 56. So the result equal 56. Okay, now we want to break it into two sections. We will break it like it. This is the first one and this is the second one. Okay? Okay, we will find the area of the first one. The first one form it from how many rows? The same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can write seven. Multiply. How many columns? Just one, two. So the area equal seven multiply two. 7 multiply 2 equal what? Who can say? Excellent. 7 multiply 2 equal 14. So the area of the first equal 14. Okay, find the area of the second session. This session. Form it from how many columns, at, how many rows at first? Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 again. Multiply how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven multiply six. Excellent. Equal forty two. So now what is the relation between seven multiply eight the whole and the first one and the second one? Excellent. We can write that. 7 multiply 8, the area of all it equal 7 multiply 2, the area of the first section, plus 7 multiply 6. OK, 
okay? 7 multiplied 8 equal 7 multiplied 2 plus 7 multiplied 6. Okay, to make sure, 7 multiplied 8 equal what? Excellent, 56. 7 multiplied 2 equal 14 plus 7 multiplied 6 equal what? 42. To make sure, 2 plus 4, excellent, equal 6. And 4 plus 1, after 4, 5, equal 5. So, 56 equal 14 plus 42. 7 multiplied 8 equal 7 multiplied 2 plus 7 multiplied 6. Okay, in here, 7. 7, 7, okay, 7, 7, 7, put in here 8, 2, 6, excellent, 2 plus 6 equal 8, so in distributive property of multiplication, we write the first number 7, we write 7, 7 again, put in here 8, we can write in here 2 plus 6 because 2 plus 6 equal 8. After 6, 7, 8. This is easy. You understand what's the meaning of distributive property of multiplication. We can cut into sections. 8 equal 2 plus 6. 8 equal 2 plus 6. In here, put the suitable number in square. If I give you some problems, try to solve it. 4 multiplied 5 equal 4 multiply 3 plus 4 multiply what? Try to find the number in here. Number 2, 7 multiply 11 equal 7 multiply what plus 7 multiply 5 and the third one 8 multiply what equal 8 multiply 9 plus 8 multiply 3 try to solve with me the first one 4, 4, 4, okay, in here 5, 5 equal 3 plus what, count after 3 to get 5, after 3, 4, 5, excellent, so we write in here 2, so 4 by 5 equal 4 by 3 plus 4 again by 2, why we, why we write 2? Because 3 plus 2 equal 5. This is easy. Okay, try to solve number 2. In here 7, and in here 7, and in here 7. Okay, 11 equal what? Plus 5. Count after 5 to get 11. Excellent. After 5 to get 11, 6. So, 7 multiply 11 equal 7 multiply 6 plus 7 multiply 5. Okay, the third one. 8, 8, 8. Okay, what in here equal? 9 plus 3. Who can say? Hmm. Excellent. After 9, 10, 11, 12. So in here we will write 12. 8 multiplied 12 equal 8 multiplied 9 plus 8 multiplied 3. We repeat 8, 8, 8. But in here, what equal 9 plus 3? After 9, 10, 11, 12. So we will write 12. Is this easy? Okay. In here, we have two ways to find estimation. We have two ways to find estimation. 
at first it's called play value and the second one is called by nearest 10. At first use place value. In place value if we have two numbers like it 56 is about what? Estimation and 12 is about what? Okay look at me 56. In place value we replace units by 0 units by 0 and write the number in tens in here 5 and in here 1 this easy in place value strategy we replace number in units by 0 and write number in tens not a change so 56 is about 50 and 12 is about 10 this is in place value only but in the nearest 10, we look at the units digit. If units digit less than 5, smaller than 5, like what? Who can say number smaller than 5? Like 0, excellent. 1, 2, 3, 4. This number less than 5, smaller than 5. Okay, we can say this weak numbers. This is called the what? Weak numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, in this case, we replace units a digit by zero and keep the tens digit. Okay, but if the units digit greater than five, like what? Like six. 7, 8, 9. In this case, we replace it by 0, like it. But in here, we add 1 to the tens digit. We add 1 to the tens digit. Okay, to understand, look at me. 12 is about what? By nearest 10. And 56 is about what by nearest 10 look at me look at units at first what is the number in units one or two excellent two we replace it by zero and ask two two is weak number or a strong number excellent two is a big very weak number so we write the number in tens again 10 so 12 is near to 10 is about 10 Okay, number two, 56. We look at the units. What is the number in units? Excellent, six. Six is strong or weak? I'm strong. So we replace it by zero again. But in here we add one because six is strong. We add one to five. After five, excellent, six. So in here, 56 near to 60, no, not near 250, like place value. Okay? I hope you understand how to use distributive property and how to estimation by two ways. Thank you for listening and goodbye.